Okay, hello everyone, Lewis here once again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Capture a Gem or CTG map in Terraria for you and your friends to play. So, it's pretty simple, but most people don't know what exactly you need to make it, and all of the software which you need to make it is completely free, which is of course a good thing. And the main two things which you can be needing is T-Edit and Terraria Viewer, and there'll be a download to both of those in the description below. And once you've downloaded Terraria Viewer, it will just be a one file download, and it'll be this file right here. But for T-Edit it will be a few different files. Here's all the files which you are going to download and in my case I've just right click create shortcut and put the shortcut on the desktop. But it's only um, the only file which you're going to need to open once you've downloaded all these files. You'll need to touch this file here. But to get straight into it, first thing you need to do is open up Terraria and create a new world. I'm going to make a small world for example and we're just going to leave the world as that name. And I'm showing you guys in a second how to change this in T-Edit. It is very simple. So once we've done that, we just need to go back and we don't need to touch Terraria for now. So we're just going to open up T-Edit. And once you first open it up, you'll see a completely flat wasteland, scary place. And of course, that's no use to us, so we need to load our world. So all you need to do is click Load World in the top left, and it should bring you to this location. If it doesn't, all you need to do is go to My Documents, My Games, Terraria, world and there will be your world and if this is your first world then it'll be called world 1 if it isn't it'll be called world 2, 3, 4, 5 etc actually you can only get 5 worlds but well, can you? I don't even know uh, yeah world 1 so we're going to open up that and once we've opened up that we can do a few different things to it one of which is changing the actual world name which is going to be the first thing we do so in this world properties subsection you'll see world 1 all you need to do is change the name to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to CTG Map 1 because in our CTGs we do usually do more than one map because it's the best of three. So that will do for that. And then onto the actual putting down of bases. So what we're going to want to do first is click on clipboard and then import schematic. There will be a download to a raw file in the description below which will have a few different files within it which will be these six files here. All you need to do is to, to extract the raw, is just right click on it and then click on extract. Actually I'll just do that in a second right now. So all you need to do is this will be a file, right click and extract here and then you've got the six files here. So you can put those wherever you want. In my case I have, oh god, delete all that crap. Um, in my case I've just put them right here because this is where it goes to by default. So it's very quick and I've got them in a folder called PUP. And I'm just going to open up the free files which we need. We're not going to be touching these Christmas ones, but if you do want to do a Christmas version, then feel free to use those instead. So we're just going to get these two, then hold down control and click on this one to select that and click on open. And once we've done that, we're just going to find a good place to place down all of our different stuff. So of course the first thing we're going to place down is the middle, or at least that's what I do. So just click on paste and put it somewhere good. This seems like a good flat place in the middle of the map, so we'll just put it here. I guess. And once we've done that, I want to click on the selection tool and delete all of the trees around it. It does cause some glitches, kind of visual glitches with the trees if you don't do that. So I just like to do that to make sure it's not having any glitches. Um, by the way, this G represents the default spawn. So if I just loaded up the map right now, this is where it would spawn. But that's okay, we could change the spawn and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. So that's no problem. And once it's done that, you can see in the bottom left, there will be a number 2433, which is x-axis and 208, which is y-axis, as you can see when I go up and down and left and right. So 2400, by our rules, you want to go 700 feet either way. So we're just going to go take 700 off that, which makes 1,700, 1,700, sorry. Can't do maths apparently. So 1,700. So we're just going to keep on going left until we reach 1,700. Um, since this is a small world, we're kind of going to corruption right here, which is a problem. So I'm just going to put it here instead. Um, it does of course mean the base are closer, but if you did make a large world, this wouldn't be a problem. I just did it to save time. So I'm just going to put it right here. Um, that seems like a decent location to put. And again, get the selection tool and just delete anything around it. By the way, all these bases which I have put in the raw file come with nothing inside any of the chests apart from this chest here. This chest contains the blue gem and the red base does of course contain the red gem. Uh, these contain absolutely nothing. Just so you can edit whatever the hell you want in the middle since we do change it on a regular basis. So we expect you to do the same as well. So again, we might actually do, be able to do this one, I'm not sure. So 3100. No, it's in a forest. Okay, let's go in here. No problem. It's going right here. It's a good place. 
um, put it down just like that and again destroy all of the trees around it so we don't look really ugly and that's good right, so that's pretty much it for now as you can see we've got the little torches in the top left and everything um, which is something I'll be talking about kind of a bit in a second so anything else, oh yes an important thing you need to remember is to set a spawn so just click on the S button here, not this S button I know we look exactly the same but we do do different things so just click on the S and then click it right here in the middle of the map and that will be the spawn now for this map and once you've done that all you need to do is click on save world as and I like to give it a completely new name in the older versions of T-Edit even clicking on save world kind of made some bugs and stuff so I don't recommend it I think it does work now but I don't press it anyway just to make sure and I'm just going to call it CTG map 1 similar so I'm going to just call it CTG one it's got one so there we go and once we've done that we want to actually delete the old one which is here just because we don't need it anymore that should it also be no it's not T-Edit file but that's fine. So once we've done that, we don't really need to touch T-Edit too much anymore. There will be a short section of the end in which I show you how to make your world a snowy world, in case anyone knows, wants to know how to do that. But other than that, I won't be touching T-Edit anymore. We've done that. So just want to open up Terraria again. Lewis, CTG Map 1, as you can see, it has changed the name of the map. And then we come across the problem. As you can see, he's got nothing inside them. Um, these places in the corner, we don't actually have any lights. For some reason, with T-Edit, or at least this current version of T-Edit, it does remove the lights when saving the map, which is a problem, and I'm going to show you guys how to find a fix this problem. So I want to, what we want to do is just open up Terraria Viewer, that's how you pronounce it, and open up your character, file open. It should go here by default, but if it doesn't, my documents, my games, Terraria, players, and Lewis, which is a pretty cool name for my character. And once we've done that, we just want to hack in a few different torches. So in this case, it's the blue torch, the white torch, and the red torch. I've already done these before, so... I don't really need to save it right now, but if you did want to save, I should save it anyway. File, save, and OK. And then once you've done that, you just need to go back into your world and you'll have all these magical items. So in this case, we'll put a white torch there, white torch there, red torch here, red torch here, and a blue torch here, and a blue torch here. And other than that, it's good to go. Um, there'll be a base on the left and base on the right, of course, and you just put white torches in the corners of these. And once you've done that, all you do is exit out, save and quit and then in here you will see your two files if you want to if you've actually got a server all you need to do is raw up by right click add to archive okay and then just upload it to the server or if you're just hosting it using Hamachi you don't need to do any of that you just need to open up for server.exe and then just load this world and assume you use Hamachi since that's what most people use it's as simple as that and you can play with your friends play CTG map with them and all that good stuff but other than that, that's pretty much it for the main section of this. But if you do want to know how to make your world a snowy world with a Christmas kind of theme, then keep on watching and I'll explain that in just a second. But yeah, thanks for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. And if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And there'll also be a full step-by-step -step guide on everything which I covered in this video if you did miss a step. But yeah, on to the other part which is making your world a snowy world. So we're going to open up T-Edit again. And once we've done that, we're just going to highlight a big section of the world. You can see the base, left base here, right base here, middle base here. We're just going to highlight about this much. You don't really need to do the entire world. It just takes it takes up a lot of time, so just do that. Um, press the brush tool, make this as big as you can. I want to take this button here, which is enable tile mask. I'm going to leave it as dirt for now. Just scroll down on this one, this one up here, not this one down here. And scroll down to snow, click on snow. And then we're just going to make all of this dirt into snow. As you can kind of see, the mask just replaces any blocks which are dirt with snow. You can use the, this tool here, which is a bucket tool, but I found this one to be a bit more effective. And then we also want to do for grass, so just click on grass on that. And you'll need to do really the top of the world for this one, as that is where most of grass is. But I like to do it underground just in case as well. And that's pretty much it, but obviously for this you would want to also use these bases um, in all these different locations instead of these bases, since these aren't Christmassy themed ones, so you just put this one here instead, and put the other one in other place, just here. You know, it's all pretty obvious stuff, and of course the middle base here, just like that. Wait, there we go. Yeah, it's as simple as that, and then just again, I'm just going to save world, because I'm pretty sure it does work, I'm just really scared to use it. Oh god, it's made two worlds, this isn't good. Wait, why has it done that? 
Oh, I see why. Because when you save it, it saves it as world one. Because the initial file I opened was called world one. So I'm just going to delete this one now. Refresh, and will just be one map now. And the save file world button does work again. There's the same problem. But it doesn't have any torches. Just put these torches down, and then you're good to go. But of course, for this, you do need the green torches as well. But that's pretty much it, I think. Um, if I did miss out anything, or you guys got any questions, just leave it in the comment section below. And again, as I said before, if you did find this video useful, then feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time in another tutorial video.